Pisces. Hey, how are you guys? So, sorry about October, or no readings for October. It was my birthday. I was moving into my new place. Still kind of getting all back to normal from Vegas. So, um, now I'm here. I'm back. Uh, and I'm situated so I can do readings again. We're going to do a Mercury retrograde spread for you guys for November. And I'm going to start by pulling a um, Art Warrior card for you guys. So, um, I ask my guides, my galactic guardians, my angels, my archangels, my ascended masters, and my ancestors, please help me to set my ego aside so that I can give Pisces the message that isn't their highest good today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see what we got going on for you guys. message do we have for Pisces today, please? One card, please. Message do we have for Pisces, please? Message do we have for Pisces, please? You guys, the energy is kind of all over the place right now. <laughs> Usually we gauge your guys' energy based on how the cars are acting. <laughs> Message for Pisces, please. It's a really big deck. Usually the cards pop right out. That's not a problem. Card for Pisces, please. I don't think this has ever happened before. They're trying to throw so many cards. I'm doing a full reading from the book, so I'm not going to take more than two cards. I'll take up to two but not more than two. Just take that one. <laughs> They're throwing this at a lot of people today. So this is the mastery card. <laughs> so this card is um, attached to acceptance, completion, a level up, expansion, accountability, confidence, and meticulousness. Mastery is fully accepting the way things are and being accountable for them. To become masterful, then, is to embrace the situation or experience as it is, so you may begin the work of changing your role or leveling up. You don't need to know everything in order to have mastery, and you didn't have shame about the things you don't know. Most importantly, you must have a willingness to go towards your situation and access all you need with the spirit of motivation and aptitude. You're being called upon to let go of worry and panic, except that you know exactly what is happening and are aware of every detail. Believe that you now have the confidence to change or to complete something in a powerful way. So there's a lot of completion happening with a lot of signs right now and a lot of leveling up happening with a lot of signs right now, which isn't surprising because a lot of us are coming into awakenings or have been and are awakening to an even further level of what our awareness of the world is. And that's known as mastery. And that's really, really beautiful. So the first card, what to expect this retrograde for Pisces, please. Uh, you're going to have endurance this, this retrograde, Pisces. Like you're going for the long haul. Right? Like, there's nothing but strength and awareness of where you're going and just a full-on drive towards that. Like, non-stop to the goal. It's just really great. All right. So, let's see. What are the obstacles that Pisces may face, please? Feeling in between 
where you were and where you are. Excuse me, I have like the hiccups too, which is weird. You usually don't get the hiccups. Um, not fully feeling, like feeling like you're not fully out of one situation and not fully in another. Um, like this is the between worlds card, right? You're feeling like there's a temporary blindness or if you're not feeling that right now, you're going to be feeling like there's a temporary blindness. Like there's something that you're not quite fully 100% sure about or know fully about. What is Pisces subconscious telling them, please? What's Pisces subconscious telling them, please? There's a need for you to forgive. There's something or someone, maybe even yourself, uh, some sort of argument happened that has you needing to make amends for things and feeling as if it's you can't really move towards what you want until that happens. And your subconscious is trying to tell you that like it's it's starting to affect your authenticity and where you're able to really prosper because you're having to hide this aspect of who you are because you haven't healed from it there's something within you that hasn't healed that hasn't forgiven someone else or hasn't been forgiven by someone else and it's making it very hard for you to really come into that abundance like there's a nurturing abundance that you're missing out on based on your inability to make amends for something uh what needs to be released for pisces please that needs to be released for pisces that's too many cards y'all are tripping what needs to be released for pisces what needs to be released for pisces your lack of inauthenticity. Like there's a huge highlight on the fact that you're not being authentic about something. And it has you staying outside of yourself. Like you're looking outside in to who you are and you don't know who you are. It's got you so mixed up right now, Pisces, because you're not being honest with yourself. Messages for Pisces, please. Messages for Pisces. Wow, you got the self mastery card, the divine masculine card, and the conscious channeling card. This, these are really. You're coming into a quickening of personal growth and there's there's a balance of opposites that's happening. Oh, your lack of authenticity is is blocking something from coming to you. And it's, it's like a renewed connection. And I don't really get that this is like, it, it could be love related, but I feel like this is more business or like being able to work with someone else or where it's like co-creation. And it's like this lack of self-care and this lack of balance of who you are 
is keeping this, yeah, it's like, it even says platonic relations, is keeping this connection, this co-creation, the flow of ideas between two, and as I said that, I looked at the clock, and it was 10, 10, which is endings, um, from coming together, so there needs to be that release, that forgiveness, whether it's a release from someone else, and a forgiveness from someone else, or it's a release from self, and a forgiveness from self, Yeah, you could be even channeling information from your ancestors and getting downloads from your ancestors. Yeah, and you're getting visions from past lives, and this may be um, part of why you're having such a hard time forgiving yourself is that there are past life um, stories playing out that you're trying to put all the pieces together, right? And you, you you need to understand is that these things that you're seeing, the bad, the good, it's all already within you. Uh, when we we come here and we're fr we've already had a past life here, we already have all of the the tools and the knowledge from the past lives. We just don't remember them. And so part of these downloads that are coming through are past life. Uh, Gifts, skills, awarenesses, knowledges, uh, knowledges, uh, memories that are coming through for you, and it's it's got you a little, you know, like uh, I feel like you're remembering more of the negative things than the skills and the positive attributes of those lives, and there needs to be a forgiveness so that you can consciously channel what it is that needs to come through, and not just based on a perspective from this life um, gathered with other lives. Like it's like a shared perspective from this life and others, if that makes sense. And it's not a perspective that's working for you. It's working against you because you see it in a negative light. Messages for Pisces, please. Radical acceptance to what is. Self-love never allows for feelings of inadequacy. Your soul knows you are whole on your own. So yeah, what you're seeing and what you're perceiving are two different things. Judgment is ego's best friend. There is no separation from what is and what was, okay? Exactly what was I just saying. So there's a need for you to have a beginner's mind when you're coming into these, these past life memories or... Um, knowledge or whatever it may be that you're coming into there's something that's related to your past lives and your skills to that and the way that you're perceiving what happened and how you should be dealing with it now versus what you need to actually have happen um all right pisces i hope that that helped you i wish you a happy thanksgiving and namaste